Hey YouTube, it's Chris again from Out West with Chris and today I'm back to do another unboxing of Alpha Outpost. This is shipment number seven, I believe. Gosh, I, I, I'm losing count. So this box is the dock kit. I, I know what it is. Um, I've kind of seen a little bit on Facebook and uh, some other social media sites uh, about this box. This is one thing I kind of like about Alpha Outpost. They mix things up. You know, you got the gentleman box early on. You got the barbecue and chill box. Um, both of those boxes I liked. Um, I like it when they kind of mix things up. You know, it's not just t tactical and survival gear. Um, it's kind of guy gear. You know, the dop kit could be pretty handy. I, I travel quite a bit. And right now, I've kind of been thinking prior to hearing about this about getting a new, you know, carry case for uh, my, you know, toiletries and stuff like that for when I travel. So for me, if the bag that's in here, I think there's a bag in here, if the bag that's in here is a good bag, this box is a success because I would have went and spent, you know, 15, 20 bucks on, on a bag anyway. So if there's some other good items in here, that I can use, you know, on a frequent basis, it'll be a successful box. Before we get in again, um, last box, the hostage survivor box, they forgot to put in the tactical pen for me. I didn't even contact these guys. I don't know if they saw it on YouTube or, or what, but they knew I didn't get my pen somehow. Um, and they shipped one out to me. I found it in the mail a couple of days ago. So uh, thanks to the great customer service at Alpha Outpost. I've never had an issue on the customer service side with Alpha Outpost. I think they're pretty solid when it comes to fixing things or if something ships broken, you know, contact them. If you're missing something from your box, contact them. Here we go. The dop kit. Here's your shipping card. It has your prices and all that stuff. Uh, I don't really go over that too much anymore. Uh, the Dop Kit Grooming Manual. Do's and don'ts of hygiene. How to loof like a loofah like a man. I don't I don't loofah. Do you loofah? Uh, beard trimming, applying shave oil, all sorts of cool stuff right here. Um, Looks like uh, we got another hat from Alpha Outpost. Got a hat in the hostage survivor box. This one does not have a hidden compartment and doesn't look like. All right, well, let's just throw it on. Eh, that's not a bad hat. All right, cool. Man, okay, smell something. A bar of soap. The Duke Cannon big ass brick of soap. That's awesome. Uh, that's a big bar of soap, folks. It's not really a bar, it is a brick. Look at that. Holy crap. That's a big old piece of soap. All right. Uh, it smells pretty good. It doesn't have like a perfumey smell. It just has a nice fresh and clean smell. So, soap pouch. That's what this is, I guess. It's like a mesh pouch. It's branded with Alpha Outpost, of course. So I guess you put your soap in here. You go hop in your shower or your river or whatever you bathe in. Watering trough for uh, livestock. Hey, what, whatever works, right? Uh, get it wet, rub it down, there you go. Okay, here is the dop kit, the bag. Oh, look at this. It's uh, Molly compatible, so it's got Molly straps right there. Um, it's got some webbing, a little bit of webbing. Um, you've got a spot for a patch. I wonder if they threw a patch in. Oh yeah, here's an Alpha Outpost patch. It'd be kind of funny to, to run a patch above a, a patch. So, so this bag is decent size. You got a spot for your, your patch, your morale patches. Um, a zippered compartment right here with, okay, we've got, we've got stuff in here. So well, let me not skip anything. These are the professional barber scissors. These are cool. I've been wanting some nice scissors to kind of trim up some of my flyers on my beard and when I need to do some just touch up work in between my barber. 
uh, visits to my barber, you know, um, having a good pair of barber scissors is a good thing. Um, they're fairly sharp, might need to sharpen them a little bit. Here is a kind of like a microfiber feeling towel. Um, it's got the logo on it. Back to the, the actual bag, the kit. Um, it has the outside little pocket here. It's got an inside uh, pocket here. This flips over Velcros. This opens up. It's not a full zip open, but you can you can see you can get get it pretty full. Um, some pouches right here. This is a good kit. Uh, comes with like a little. Uh, if you want to carry it like a freaking purse, I guess. I don't know. And we've got some other goodies in here. So let's go over this stuff. Huckleberry Beard Company Pre-Shave. So it's a shave oil. So before you go ahead and shave, you know, put it on and then you use your straight razor. And here is the straight razor. It's a, it's, ooh, I don't know. I just grabbed right here and it's, it's not missing anything, but it just seems like it's a little not so sturdy. Um, it looks like a wood handle, but it's plastic. Now I'm not gonna demonstrate how to use it. Um, I've never shaved with a straight razor before. I'll give it a shot though. Um, definitely pretty cool. And then you get uh, a metal comb. Yeah, it's a comb. Man, I need to brush out my beard. I use a brush for my beard, and it's actually a brush that uh, you would use to clean clippers. Um, yeah, anyways. <clears throat> and then you get uh, some nice, these, are, these aren't bad. These are kind of uh, a manly uh, fingernail and Toenail clippers, so those are alright, those are pretty cool. Stickers, it looks like this is a window sticker for grunt style. Um, and then you get Huckleberry Beard Company. Um, little sticker decal type deal, that's kind of cool. I'm a beard guy, as you can tell. Okay, so this, this company, this Huckleberry Beard Company, this is a pre-shave oil, but they also have beard oils um, that you can get. And they are, it looks like some of them, the ingredients uh, use some essential oils too. So essential oils are good. Um, but uh, yeah, using a, if you have a beard, beards can get really wiry and not very soft. So using a beard oil actually helps condition your beard. Um, I don't use a beard oil, but I do have um, some stuff that I use for my beard. This isn't a bad box. Some of the stuff, the uh, straight edge razor seems a little bit flimsy. The metal portion, the actual blade, the razor portion, seems pretty sturdy, pretty strong, well made. It's uh, pretty darn sharp. Uh, the The handle portion is kind of a cheap plastic, and it, you know, lots of give right here. Um, so I don't know. I'm not a connoisseur of straight razors, so I'm not a pro. I'm not like, um, you know a go-to expert on the quality of straight razors, but I guess it's okay. Um, the pre-shave oil from the Huckleberry Beard Company looks pretty cool. I might wanna try out some of their beard oils as well, so I'll keep you posted on that. Um, glad I got the scissors, toenail clippers, fingernail clippers. You know, this is good. I'll have a dedicated pair to keep in my travel bag so I don't have to you know, the stuff, the ones that I have at home, I don't have to move them and sort them back and forth. So that's a good thing. The towel is just, you know, a normal, regular towel, nothing special. The comb itself is okay. So the soap and the soap uh, bag thing, that's pretty cool. Um, I'm excited to try out this soap. Uh, I'm gonna go put it up in my shower. But uh, right now I'm gonna go ahead and pack. I've got a, a some travel coming up, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pack right now and show you a few of the things that I use to help maintain my beard. So, um, you know, I have a, a comb 
this is my comb I use it to comb out comb my hair when I you know am styling my hair and that type of stuff so I'm gonna throw this comb in I'm kind of interested to see how it all packs in here as well I'm gonna throw this comb in as well um, I'm gonna go ahead and throw the scissors into this um, for, for my trip and I'm gonna just keep the fingernail clippers and the toenail clippers in here I'm gonna put them in this little outside pocket uh, so that'll work zip that up I'm gonna leave the beard oil and the straight edge razor here planning on needing to use those on my trip uh, this is the brush I use to actually brush out my beard and this is a, a brush that you would use a barber would use to kind of brush out his clippers okay but it works really well jeez feels good um, on my beard uh, I like it my barber actually recommended this um, something else my barber recommended and kind of what I do this this pomade this suavecito pomade I use it to style my hair and I put it in my beard as well it helps condition the beard and uh, shape my beard and so I'll put some of it in my beard when my beard is a little bit wet not super wet um, and then I, I kind of rub it in and then I use this to comb it um, throughout the beard gives it a, it's got a nice smell to it um, helps keep it kind of orderly and in line and then in the middle of the day if, if you're starting to get flyers and stuff you just wet your beard down um, if you got your comb comb through it or your brush you know brush through it so uh, the suavecito is good stuff I use it on my hair on my beard um, I also have this this is a um, the suavecito grooming wax it works good on mustaches um, and beards so I, I go between these two I am a contact guy, so let me put my contact solution in. Just get it all in here. Make sure there's enough room. I'm a deodorant guy as well. I'm a fan of the Old Spice, the Bear Glove, some toothpaste, toothbrush, my contact holder. That's pretty much it. I'm set for my trip and everything fits in here nicely. I've got room to spare, so if I'm going on a trip where there won't be soap, I'll be able to fit my soap in here. Um, I could fit more stuff in here if I needed to. So this is a good bag. I like it. Overall, not a bad box at all. I'm, I'm pretty pleased with it. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Thank you for um, watching the video. If you like what you see, please click the thumbs up button and subscribe. And as always, thanks for getting out west with Chris.